Welcome back, welcome back YouTube family. Today I have a special guest for you guys. This is the one and only Jack Thriller. <laughs> Thanks Mimi for having me on. Oh, no problem. Okay, so today we are having burgers. Did you get a salmon or did you get a regular? I got the turkey burger. You have the turkey? Mm -hmm. Okay, well say your grace. You say the grace. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. Help it to strengthen and nourish our bodies and make us stronger. Thank you for the fellowship. Thank you for the friendship. Thank you for the love, the, the encouragement, God. And we just ask you just to keep on blessing this, this, this union that her and I have and, and bless this food. And so when it goes inside of our bodies, it makes us feel whole. And, and, and if there's any insecurity, God, any insecurity about any morsel, any morsel of food that we're about to eat, God, just take it all away. Take it all away, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Wonderful prayer. All right. So Jack is also a cast member. When did you start Rolling Out? Uh, back in 2013 when it first came back. 2013. Okay, so that yep. was your first season. Yep, I auditioned. Um, what, what what season was that? That uh, that was the that's the fifth season. Good for you. I auditioned on the fourth season. You've been around for a long time. A long time. Long time. Y'all, I got chili pepper on here. I got this. I got bacon, yes. some onions. Oh, mm. you about to put it in your mouth. Oh, here we go. Jack stresses me out the most. <laughs> okay? Jack says the most random stuff. He's hilarious. He has good energy. He doesn't mean no harm. But he's going left a lot. <laughs> Ooh, big bite, Jack. Mm. Mm. It was really good. My front stitch still hurts, so it's kind of hard for the back. Why you? Oh, you just got the uh, root canal? Mm-mm. I heard that on the bone a couple weeks ago. Mmm. When you hit your, your tooth on the bone? Mm -hmm. I'm munching on the bone. Oh, that is just greed right there. Yeah. So, Jack, what was the moment that you went viral or what started your career? Hmm. What started my career? Mm -hmm. I was inside this gospel play when I was like uh, 12 years old, mm -hmm. called The Will to Survive. And that was, uh, um, also in that play was Fred Berry, which is rerun off, rerun off what's happening. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to be a star ever since I was five years old after seeing Michael Jackson, um, Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, Bobby Brown, Red Prince. Denzel Washington. I, I I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but I knew I just wanted to be on TV. And um, how old were you then? I, I was five years old. I was trying to fig trying to figure it out, Mimi. Wow, you've been doing stuff for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I think that when when you're a kid, when you well, I don't have kids, so you you well versed in that. You got some beautiful children too. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think that you're supposed to ask your kids. And get them to start thinking about exactly what they want to do with their life, mm -hmm. like at a real early age, so they start just being planted in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, so if you don't, they don't like to be lost. I, I, I think it's crazy when I see older kids. You know what I'm saying? Trying mm -hmm. older, older. Kids. <laughs> oh, thank you. There you go. I'm sorry. No, you're good. I just didn't want you to have the white around. Your no, I don't want that. <laughs> no, I don't want that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Because people, I got one eye, and you know, people don't you be telling me. That. Yeah, people don't be telling me that shit either, man. You were, my, you were a real friend. Yeah, I just think it's, it's, a, um, it's definitely a crime um, when a kid is like 18 years old and he don't know what the fuck to do with his life or she don't know what to do with her life. That shit is crazy. I think they should, they should have been on that bike really young. Okay. But you got kids. So, like, do you agree with that? Yeah, I think it's important to ask the kids what they like and what they actually enjoy. Mm -hmm. you know? Because there is situations where parents do force their kids to do things that the kids don't want to do because that's what they wanted to do growing up and they didn't get the chance to do it. So, you know, they force their kids into their life and it's not for everybody, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I think if the kid wanted it, then push them whatever they like and just, you know, make sure that they're setting good. Um, I Mimi, mean, you a super, super um, dope role model. And the other thing for your kids, they really love you because you always, you got that super hardcore entrepreneurial spirit. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I was asking someone, you know, that there's things that you do on, on whatever in their own life as far as being business owners and stuff like that. Do, is it important for you to make your kids work for you or go out and get their own job and whatnot? My goal is um, I want to have enough money to. Like I don't splurge on like big crazy stuff and stuff like that um, because I want to actually 
have enough money so that when my kids are 18, uh, they don't have to go work for nobody. That if they want a business, they like my, they want a phone business or something, or they want to open a little shop or a little store, I want to be able to have the funds so that they don't have to go out here and work for somebody else, but I can make them a business that they can work for themselves. Man. So that is my main goal in life, is that my kids will be, my kids will be set, their, my, their kids' kids will be set, and just build generational wealth, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, Jack, so what about you? When, let, let's get on to it. I want to know about this eye. Mm -hmm. So, were you born with one eye mm -hmm. or did something happen? I was born with one eye. Okay. Yeah, um, that's one of the biggest misconceptions about me. Mm -hmm. I've never been able to see out of my left eye. Mm -hmm. Do uh, com complications with my mom's pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I never let that hold me back. It's not, it's never been a, a thing for me. Um, of course, I distracted a lot of kids growing up in classes and stuff. So I was put in like a lot of special ed classes because I'm fighting all day and I wasn't able to get my work done. So uh, got bullied. I got bullied a lot. I would be fighting like five and six kids a day. Oh, yeah. yeah. But you do such a good job at handling it. Like, you know, we mess with you here too all the time, but you're such a good sport about it. What um, what quality do you think it takes to you know stand up to bully or you know to not be so hurt or let it affect you? Knowing who you are, so you know who you ain't. Um, I never wanted to fit in. Mm -hmm. and nobody shit. I don't even know if you notice over here. Like I'm not afraid to lose um, to quote unquote fail or whatever the fuck that is because it's it's such a a blessing and a joy to wake up and be me every day. You know what I'm saying? Like where I come from and the things that people told me that I couldn't do because of my quote unquote handicap and whatnot, you know, um, this wasn't supposed to happen if I had listened to them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's hard for me to listen to people because every time I betray my heart, mm -hmm. then I go, I always, I always go the wrong way. That's good. No, you're really good sport about stuff. What is the funniest I joke you feel like and somebody has given you? DC Young Fly. What um, he said, he said, uh, it, uh, your eye is so crossed, it like it's been cooked in a skillet. I'm about to pull your glass eye up and roll some dice with it. <laughs> and he did it on Wild and Out. It was one of the episode with the Breakfast Club on there um, back in 2014. Uh, he was the new dude on the, on the squad. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, damn, this dude is really talented. Yeah, yeah. He's touched by God. Mm -hmm. So you guys, a couple days, last week, I told this guy that he was eye candy. Oh yeah, oh Next yeah. Next thing you know, he threw his eye patch into the crowd. He threw, a, he threw his rag, <laughs> he threw his hat. He's getting ready to take his shirt off. Mm -hmm. I did, <laughs> I took my shirt off. And threw it in the crowd, mm -hmm. hilarious. Mm -hmm. And it was an episode that I'm hosting this season. I thought it was only fitting. <laughs> it was one of my final moments right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the girl took it and put it on, too. Ew, I know. They was loving it. <laughs> it was all that sweat dripping from the iPad. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, 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 and that's one fun fact about me. I'm a very sweaty guy. <laughs> I, I just walk and start sweating. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, Jack is very random, um, but it makes moments, so it's funny because a lot of times he yells out stuff that doesn't make sense. Like we're playing in the classroom, and he just yells out, I can make a booger talk. <laughs> <laughs> and I swear, it was so funny. Um, but it's just so, so random. But Jack is very, very random, but he takes, you know, he don't take jokes well. So what's your favorite food since we've been here? Mmm. -hmm. I'd have to say the uh, this burger right here. This was amazing. One of the best turkey burgers I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. And um, it, I, it was. It's, the, it's not the part you even think about either. I love the lettuce. I love I the love tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm a mustard guy. I, I like the pickles. It was fresh. Yeah, mm -hmm. pickles are good. And it was it was definitely um, good turkey uh, uh, um, meat too. Mm -hmm. It was definitely a good turkey burger. And I like the bun. The bun is nice. And soft and everything. Uh, yeah, we, we got some really good curtains. Yeah. I don't eat the top one. Mm. So if you look in the back, I'm eating. 
but I push the meat to, <laughs> to the front. The only type of buns that I do eat is like Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. I'll eat the bun, but anytime I eat a burger, I don't eat the top bun. Is that a particular reason why? I don't know. I don't really like bread like that. I don't eat a lot of carbs, but bread or something like that. I like to eat like no home meat and like lettuce and like fresh vegetables, right? Dude. So I did the uh, fat burger challenge. I did this like really big burger. I ate it all, but I still had the top bun to defeat. It was the nastiest thing because I don't like the top bun for some reason. I love top buns and bottom buns. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> good bread. So good. Mm -hmm. And I like, I like, I love a good soft bread behind it too. Uh, normally I'm a Pepsi guy, but Coke is fine. My granddaddy used to drink Pepsi a lot, so. I thought I eat fast. Good done. Yeah. Well, I didn't eat all the fries and stuff. Uh, yeah, they, <clears throat> the chef's they, been amazing this, this season. Yeah, it's, been, it's really amazing. I love everything they do, and what, and they're really nice too. Yeah, shout out to them. Uh, top two. I, I tag them on Instagram all the time. Um, yeah, what are your favorite game on Wild and Out? Um, my favorite game on Wild and Out is Newfound in, in the classroom. Yeah? Yeah, you, I make it my business to get out and get out with a bang <laughs> and whatnot. It's uh, because I can relate to it. It just reminds me of how I used to be when I was in school every year. Saying some random shit? Random shit. I would try, I, I'd try to do something just to get out, man, and whatnot. Because I was like, I ain't supposed to be here. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here. I already know what I want to be. Come on, we went to special ed. Yeah. <laughs> Take me to special ed. <laughs> I was in special ed all the way from um, preschool to ninth grade. And I dropped out in the ninth grade. Mm. Got my GED. Started working at 15 and shit. Okay. McDonald's. Then working at um, uh, MCI Worldcom doing telemarketing at 16. Um, then teaching kids how to read um, in, at 17. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and then, um, I, I, then I became a stripper at 18. Um, and I was doing, I was stripping, doing comedy. And I was working security at the Velvet Room and, and the Compound in Atlanta. What kind of stripper were you? But like... my, my stage name was Bob Wire. <laughs> <laughs> it's small, but it'll cut you. <laughs> that was my shit. And I was one of the worst strippers ever because I was homophobic. And because they do a thing at the strip club. You ever strip before? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Damn, my head's all wrong. But look here. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I, the guys would rub oil on each other before they go out, yeah. but they were, it wasn't anything that was supposed to be gay. I was just so immature, I didn't want them to do that. So I would spray the oil on the wall, and then I'd just get my, my back on there and do it like that, and I'd have some little, so I would be kind of oily on some spots and missing spots and shit, you know, because I just didn't want no man touching me. <laughs> and, um, and then on top of that, I wasn't a good stripper. I got butt naked as soon as I got on stage. I didn't tease at all. I wasn't hard. <laughs> None of that, you know what I'm saying? And they used to, the other strippers would get mad at me like, yo, Bob, why? Chill the fuck out, man, you gotta wait for the third song to get naked. If you get naked on the first song, they're gonna all want us to get naked on the third song. <laughs> and um, my dick don't Bob, look big on soft, too, so. <laughs> Bob, why? It's little, but it'll cut you. Yo, you fucking crazy, though. Um, <laughs> so what do, you, what do you do now? Tell everybody. What you have going on, shows or the podcast? What? Tell everybody what it is. Oh, I got three podcasts uh, right now. On uh, one uh, called um, uh, um, uh, the, the Mat Matinee. It's with myself, Music Soul Child, and uh, Carl Payne from Martin, which is cold. Then I got another um, podcast. Uh, uh, it's called uh, Scapegoat, and that's with me, Darius McQuarrie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got him on Wild Out too. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, uh, Tyron Turner, which is Kane. From Minister Society. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we just talking shit on there, and then I'm, I'm producing a, po a podcast with some women. Um, Lily from SWV. Uh, it's called uh, the Powder Room. It's her and Nikki, uh, another girl named uh, the real Nikki Nicole, and uh, Baby Half Shay. And so women of a certain age and stuff. So I'm producing that. Then I got my my um, my uh, 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 cipher show called Sixteen or Better. A big boy just posted up from Outcast the other day. It's a show that I had started back in 2012. Conceited, been on there, all kind of battle rappers, Charlie Clips. Um, a lot of cast members from Wild and Out. Justina got on Wild and Out off 16 or better. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I, oh, I done got a lot of motherfuckers on, on Wild and Out. Yeah. Uh, you know who else I got on Wild and Out? You ready? Yeah. 
Rip Michaels. Yeah, I can see that. It's yeah. like a mini you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> They're random as fuck. <laughs> yes. I'm like, I know that. <laughs> yeah, it's motherfucker. Y'all be a little rapey. <laughs> no, so you have really actually done like, a lot for people. And yes, I, that's, that's my whole mission. Yes. Uh, I feel like if, you, if your life doesn't help somebody else's life, well, you're not even fit to live. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's all, uh, uh, Muhammad Ali said it best. He said, uh, uh, service to others is the rent you pay for being on this earth. That's good. Yeah. yeah. And so I, all of my shows are designed to put people on. Like we had served over 2,000 rappers on um, 16 and Bell. Uh, uh, Benny the Butcher. Before he was Benny the Butcher. And he's, he, he's big. Now, uh, 2015, he was on um, uh, 16 and Better. Young and May, okay. before she blew up, was on 16 and Better. Yeah. And it's, it's, a, it's a host of other people. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, I always, no matter what platform that I ever had, it was been about, you know what I'm saying, putting people on. Yeah. And I remember the day you came on my show. Yeah, I did. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, like, I didn't, I didn't, I, I wasn't familiar with, I, just, uh -huh. I would follow you, but I followed you because uh -huh. you had fat ass. Yeah, because right now you think that I used to strip. <laughs> yeah, I thought you was a stripper and shit, and then I saw you on Love and Hip Hop one. Like, after you came on my show, I'm like, oh, shit. So she ain't no Instagramy person. She, uh, she on the show and all that shit. <laughs> And then you see all the girls in there on, on my show, uh, the Jackie's Angels. All the girls knew me. Yeah, they, they knew. They went crazy. when I, I was like, oh, shit. No, I'm not. I've never been a stripper. I, I've tried once, but that was it. But it wasn't even long. Uh, like one day. And yes. then the club got burnt down. So that wasn't my thing. But wow. I, my percentage of followers is 90% women. Mm. Uh, not, so oh, most shit. of my content, there's a lot of women out there, Jack. Show them the What's eye. Up? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's crazy. So I'm gonna be exposed to a lot of women. Yeah, and yo, it's a bunch of women have followed me on little things that, that we just posted up. Just you don't have no fun. Yeah, I, but ninety percent of my followers are women. Um, I do a lot of romantic. Um, I like to, you know, I do nails and I, I, you know, I used to have shops and hire mm -hmm. people and I like to dress people up and you know, I'm just all about women. Like women confidence. Empowerment. Women, yeah, yeah, women empowerment. And I'm a mother and I cook. I do a mm -hmm. lot of cooking and eating on my YouTube and places mm -hmm. I take my kids. So you know, sometimes when you look at me, a lot of times people are the first thought is oh maybe she's a stripper or she's she's a gold digger or maybe she's this and she's that and I'm complete opposite. I am a total mom, I'm a total wife, I'm a totally girl. Uh yeah. When I met you and on my show and when you were so quiet. I had a when I when I met you on your show, I was actually going through a divorce after ten years. Really? Literally in the process. Um I was I was sober. I had just started getting sober. I yeah, you didn't drink at all. No. Because we drank at like 10 in the morning over my no, show. it was like 8 a.m. And they had bottles when I came to the show. They were just drinking and smoking. I'm like, dog, it's 8 a.m. We just opened up our eyes. But during that time. Was you expecting that, though? I don't know what I was expecting. It, I don't know what I was You didn't even know you were coming, huh? I knew that I was coming out. My, the, my PR at the time had to set it up for me. Mm -hmm. But at the time, I was going through a lot of stuff. So I was really, you know, normally I'm really loud. I'm really outgoing. But during the time, I was very depressed. You know, I was very depressed. I was going through a lot of things. Like, I was skinny too. I was real skinny then. Thank you, um, you, you thank you. But I was going through a lot of stuff. But mm. it was fun. So tell everybody. Hold on, before you go, let me tell you something she did. And she she was so fucking sweet because I was sweating my ass off while I was holding myself, and she wiped my head off with her hand. And I was like, what the? It was so and it just funny. touched me, like, in just a real, like, yeah. she just wiped it off. And I looked at her, and, I was, and she had a sweet look in her face yeah, on it. The camera Girl, was who on. Is this lady? The camera was on, and it was just, like, bubbling and shining. I was like, bro, I gotta get you right. Bubbling! She, she cared. <laughs> I care. Okay, I've always been this person. Okay, our relationship is like that too. I've always been the nice bully. Mm. Do you get that vibe from me? One hundred percent. I love you to death. I am the nicest bully. If that makes any sense. I'm a Taurus, so you know that gives me bully. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a Taurus. Bully. Taurus? Okay. I'm a bully too. Yeah. You are. Four twenty-seven. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm the seven. The seven. So we we share seven. a seven. Okay. Wow. So yeah, no, I'm a nice bully. So I, mm. I crack jokes all day, but I don't do it to where they hurt their feelings mm. or they're mean about it. Mm. You know, we can laugh about it because you know I'm always bullying this guy because he's freaking hilarious. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> uh, so I tell everybody where they can find you at. Now, at Jack Thriller on Instagram, mm. Young Jack Thriller on um, Facebook. I just got my Facebook back. Um, my wife had took it from me back in 2017. I was married for like six months. Okay. Ugh. Yes. Ugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you for everything that you have done for the community, for people. You know, it's great having you on the show. Um, Thank you for having me. I, I, I don't really know if you're going or you're going backwards because, you know, you're supposed to be a vet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? You're going. Wait, wait, wait. I said, I don't know. I said, it's nice having you on this show mm. while I'm out. Um, I don't know if you're growing or growing backwards. And sometimes you be getting the eh, eh, eh all the time. Hey man, hey, let me tell you hey, something. Sometimes when you're wrong, you're right. You're wrong all the fucking time. I had to snatch, literally, you see this thing? I thought this was a book bag, right? I've been thinking he wearing a book bag. All the time this is a harness. Sometimes no, no, it's not a harness. It's a gun holster. Okay, it's called a jackpack. And what else you got in there? I got condoms, I got I keep my um, my phone charger in there, my room key, and um, I'm chewing gum, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a good time on Instagram, make sure you guys follow us. Make sure and baby wipes. And baby wipes, because he likes to get his ass licked. <laughs> Jack likes to get his ass licked. Yes, he love it, love baby it. Baby wipe on Zach. I yes. don't know who is out there licking his ass, but you know what, kudos to you. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Jack, it's really nice to... Uh, hey, look me up. But if there's anybody, one of your followers that would like to eat my ass one day, um, please follow me, send me a DM, and let's make it happen. And I eat your ass back too. It's <laughs> thank, all about giving. Thank you guys for joining us for our month thing today. The burger was delicious. Make sure you guys go follow Jack Thriller. Go check out all my other videos. And see you guys on a new season of Wild and Out on CB Wild and Out Season 17. I love you, and I'd like to sit on y'all face, ladies. Bye. Yeah. We went from a good prayer to that. Yeah, well, that, was, that, that was bad. No, it was fine.